How's it going everyone, my name is Khaled, I'm the indie game developer of Miko Adventures Buff Ball and I'm currently working on my next game, Melted Fate. More information about my next game will be revealed with time. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, it really helps the channel out. With that being said, let's get right into the video. So at the start, let's talk about the objects in the, in the scene first. First of all, I have the player. Here I have an idle animation and I have a run animation, both run at 30 FPS, as you can see. And in the behavior of the player, I have it in a platformer object. I have this acceleration and deceleration, and I changed the max speed to 350, okay? I'm gonna hit apply, and then we go into the fireball itself. As you can see, here's the animation. It runs at 20 FPS. If I run it at 30 FPS, it's gonna, be, it's gonna look very fast. So I'm gonna just run it at 20. I'm gonna press okay. If we go into the behavior, it doesn't have any behaviors. And I'm gonna go into the floor. It's a, a normal floor. It's a platform, and uh, we I disabled the ledges can be grabbed. Uh, I'm gonna click apply, and let's get into the events. I'm gonna explain how this works. The player controls will be in every video. It's very simple. Basically, if I press the A and D, uh, I'm gonna change the uh, the player animation to run. Next, we have the A key. Uh, if the A key is pressed, and we simulate uh, pressing left for the player. And uh, if the D key is pressed, then we simulate pressing right for the player, okay? Next we have the, the flip horizontal event, basically uh, here is the character, it's not flipped, okay? This is, this is the not flipped state, so uh, if I press A, which is uh, pressing left, then I want to flip the character. If I press D, then I'm not gonna flip the character. Uh, next, uh, if I, I want to, like, when I move, I, if I left my hand from A and D, then I want the player to go back to the idle state. So as you can see, here is it. Here is the animation, very simple, from idle to run or walk. Okay. Next, we have the fireball. We have three things that we need to change. One of them that we, we, we can uh, remove, but I'm going to just explain why I added it. First of all, we're gonna see how we can simulate like attacking, you know. So if I press the left mouse button over here, we're gonna trigger it once because I want to create the fireball only once. I don't wanna break it. Like if I press, it will create uh, like a 100 fireballs. I just want one fireball. So I, I uh, add trigger once. And then I add if the player is not horizontally flipped or is horizontally flipped. And if it's not, then I'm going to create the fireball at the player position X and Y. And I just added plus 80 and plus 20 just to change where the uh, object uh, is created. Basically, if, I, if we see here, the, uh, the character right now is not, is not flipped, as you can see. As you can see over here. Just a second. So as you can see over here, here's the character not flipped, and then we create a fireball when we hit the, uh, the left, uh, left mouse button, uh, we create a fireball at position player X, player Y. So if I click uh, the left mouse button, it will create this object, okay, which is the fireball. Uh, the plus 80 and plus 20 just to, uh, you know, uh, make the position of it uh, better. And then we add a permanent force to the fireball so it moves, okay? Like as you can see this movement. I'm gonna show you how you can delete this fireball uh, like after a while like this in just a second. But uh, first of all, we just add to the fireball uh, a permanent force of uh, whatever you want. I prefer 2000 on uh, the X axis and zero on the Y because we don't want it to go uh, vertically, only horizontally. And uh, this is when the player is not flipped. Basically, we're gonna, if I flip the character, then we're gonna do the opposite of everything. So if it's, it's horizontally flipped, uh, uh, the same, we're gonna create the fireball at uh, player X, player Y, and then we add the fireball, a permanent force of negative 2000. Just remember to add a negative here because it's uh, now flipped, okay? Uh, and that's it, that's, that's as you can see here in the preview, we have a fireball coming out of this fireball, of this uh, bunny. Okay, now, here I added the scale. Now, you don't really need the scale, but I just added because I just didn't have the time to edit the, the, the asset itself, because if I disable this and then hit update, now 
we're gonna see here that the fireball is pretty big so because it's the asset itself the asset size itself is pretty big the picture itself so I uh, just didn't have the time to edit this uh, size so I just basically scale it down a bit scale the size of it but I do not recommend using scale in your game if uh, your game is big and so on because uh, this uses a bit of calculation on the uh, system it may slow your game down so I do not recommend using uh, scale if you would like to use it, that's fine. But I would, I highly recommend, uh, you know, editing your um, your animation pictures like these. Just edit it, uh, edit the size uh, of this animation that matches your character in the game uh, using Photoshop or anything. Okay. Now we get back to um, now we get back to the last part of this video, which is how we can like disable. Um, remove the fireball after a while because um, for me uh, in my game Miko Adventures Buff Ball I, uh, I added this feature so that it limits the player uh, fi uh, fire range you know so basically if, if, if an enemy is right here I can I can't shoot it I have to get close so this puts the player a bit more uh, a bit more in danger you know so it's better to just remove the bullet after a while okay but how to do this? Basically, I repeat it for each instance of a fi of the fireball, and you can do this by clicking this uh, plus button, and then for each object, and then this will be created. Now you can put the fireball in here, and then we're gonna now we're gonna add an object variable of this uh, object, which is fireball, and then we're gonna add uh, we're gonna add one to this variable. So for each fireball object, we're going to add one into the variable fireball, which is connected to the fireball object. Okay, and then I just multiply it by time delta. You don't need to, but I just prefer to use time delta because it makes the game more stable in case of uh, like lag or uh, FPS drops or anything. So it keeps the game stable at this rate. Okay, so we add one, okay. And then... I say if the variable fireball of this of the of the object fireball, which is, which is uh, like a, an object variable as you can see over here, then if it's a great a greater or equal to uh, zero point two three, basically that's in like seconds, you know, or not in seconds, but like uh, it's 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 less than one basically. Okay, so we delete this uh, fireball. So basically, what happens is that it counts, it adds one. For each frame okay and like before even it gets to one it will delete the fireball so that's why it's very like fast like this now you can definitely change this basically you can make it like 30 for example update it and it will go for longer as you can see you can make this 50 and it will go even longer as you can see and I can make it very small like this and it will not make sense because like this is not fun you know okay so I, I think like 25 23 is the best uh, range because it gives the player more freedom and at the same time it gives them space between the enemy and the player and that's it that's how you create uh, this fireball effect in your game now of course this is not a perfect system there's uh, some kind of uh, there's still some uh, like minor uh, bugs in the system, but it's not very uh, big or any like big issues or anything. Like this, you can actually uh, create your game or like your idea behind this. That's all the idea behind uh, shooting fireballs uh, out of your uh, character. Now, of course, you can add like for example, if I click the uh, the left mouse button and the fireball is created, like for example, you create here. Um, like some kind of uh, an effect, you know, uh, I'm going to show here in uh, in my game. And when a fireball hits the, f the, the floor or like a, a wall or something, it will like, you know, goes into poof and, you know, put an animation like this, an effect. It gives the game, uh, it makes the game more alive, you know. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. 
Uh, there will be more tutorials like this coming soon. Uh, I have many ideas. Uh, and if you have any questions related to uh, GDevelop, uh, please uh, let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.